Hey y'all, this is Holla Requested. What's up, y'all? Got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into the story time with the DJ Star. Y'all, she is on YouTube, so I don't want to smoke, okay? Not even saying she that type of person. Um, just saying it happens like, damn, let my video be out at least a day. So that's what I'm trying to do um, before I get to react to her videos. It was on TikTok, so I'm just trying to be respectful. Um, and have a uh, YouTuber etiquette because I have not in the past. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, we about to get into this video. Y'all want an intermission first? Or is this the intermission? If not, we about to get into it. Let me know. Let me know. Hurry up. This is the intermission. Got it. All right, let's get it. Story time. Grab a drink, get a snack, kick your feet up and relax. Subscribe, like, and comment and all that. Cause story times are bang. What we think about that, gang? Be honest with me. I put like a little twist on it. I know y'all said put a little tune, put a little beat, put a little music behind it. But I don't know. I think that's the one problem. Let me know in the comments <laughs> right now. We feeling that or no? I refuse to jump right into the story time without saying thank you once again. I don't care. I know I said a lot, but I really mean it. Team Twin, because y'all have been showing out. The more love y'all show, the more consistent it makes me want to be. And I just want to say thank you. I also want to take some time out to send a very special thank you to Royalty's World. You guys, she is a YouTuber that she does reactions to a lot of videos, but specifically to my story times. And I absolutely love them. I know I already gave you a shout out on Instagram, but I had to bring it over here to my YouTube because I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Now, without further ado, let me. Damn. <laughs> I didn't expect it. So nice. Anytime. I love her story times. I, I was trying, I'm over here trying not to react because I want y'all to watch her video first, obviously. Um, thank you, friend. Anytime. I love your video. Let me know if you want me to wait a few days to react to your video because, you know what I'm saying? You're on YouTube. You probably don't give a damn. But just let me know. But outside of that, lesbian power. Let me tell y'all about the time I got set up by a couple. Yeah, not one, but two people. So first things first, let's get some names going. All right. Uh, for, one, and, and thank you, Kia, for putting me on to her. Kia, Kia told us, Kia the one who broke the ice. Thanks, Kia. If she's not in here, tell her I said it. I need y'all to remember this name by the name of Amy. It's kind of like Amy, aggressive Amy, angry Amy type of thing. Amy is more on like the masculine side, um, very tomboyish, like played sports, very athletic, things like that. Her girlfriend, let's call her Dora, short for Ditsy Dora. And that's just exactly what I mean by that. So boom, we got Amy and Dora and they're a couple. How I met Amy and Dora, me and the person that I was dating at the time, we kind of like took a little vacation, a little getaway. We ended up in their city. We all was at a bar and um, Amy, the stud actually walked up to me and asked me where I got like a hat, my hat from or like a hoodie or something like that so that's how we even all became to like be introduced to each other i don't okay. know if it's by the way we talk or maybe the, by the way we were dressed i don't know what it was but they could obviously tell that we weren't from around here so they was just like giving us little options little things to do like around the city kip amy's girlfriend dora was very fond of my girlfriend so you know they're like chatting on the side they're like oh yeah we should definitely come out tonight like let us show you let, let us show you around the town you know things like that so i'm like you know what Come on, like, they seem like cool people. Cool. And y'all, they actually were cool people. We actually ended up kicking with them that whole weekend. Everything's fine. Everything's dandy. We get back to, we, like, exchange numbers. We exchange social media. Me and my girl at the time, we go back to our state, you know, and Amy and Dora. We just kind of, like, keep in contact just a little bit over the, like, course of a year and six months. Okay. A year and six months later, I'm no longer with the girl I was dating with at the time. But I get on Facebook. I was working a nine to five at the time. And so I made a, a post that was kind of like, man, I got a three-day weekend. I'm not trying to be in Atlanta. I want to go like somewhere by the water i want to go somewhere by the beach Cute. okay i posted that and amy seen it i'm guessing because she texted me and was like hey what's up bro like i'm supposed to be going to florida this weekend it's gonna be me dora and another one of our friends i see that you're not with so-and-so anymore so you know you'll be more than we'll be more than happy if you want to tag along we'll swing through atlanta to pick you up so tag i'm like along is crazy. 
cool you know like how long will y'all be gone she's like friday saturday sunday we plan on coming back early monday you know we'll <coughs> drop you off you could just come along we really love to have you so i'm like ah oh, man that's perfect timing like let me know what time you're gonna be swinging through so i can already be ready i'm like you know what's the ticket basically i'm asking her like how much for gas how much for rooms and this is the yes my wine is in a sippy cup yes it is the children's sippy cup at that for those that don't know, uh, I need spill proof anything with red anything because I will spill it. <laughs> okay. The first red flag I noticed when she was basically just like, oh, you don't have to pay anything. We just want you to come along. Don't worry. You good. Everything already paid for you good. And I'm just like, mm. but I don't want to kind of like be a freeloader in a sense. But at the same time, if you say I'm good, I guess I'm good. Cute. So y'all, Friday morning gets here, you know, Amy, Dory, and a friend is on their way to come pick me up so we can go ahead and take a little vacation. I think it was in Panama, Florida type of thing. So I'm excited. They pull up to my crib. They let me know, hey, I'm outside. I walk outside and second red flag. I'm like, hey, you know, where's your friend? They're like, oh, you know what? She's not really the road trip type of person. She would rather fly in. So she's going to get a flight and she's going to meet us there. I'm like, mm, okay, I got the back seat to myself. Cool. Not so bad. So, you know, I get in, I put my bags and stuff in. And so the first couple of hours on the ride, we just kind of catching up. They telling me about the things that they've been doing, that, that they've been working on, some goals and stuff, whatever like that. I let them know about like what happened to me and old girl that they met at the bar. We're no longer together. I let them know what I'm doing. I'm actually in Atlanta now. Da, da, da. You know, we're just kind of catching up, you know, doing the things that we do. Amy is driving and I'm kind of sitting behind the seat, um, you know, behind Amy. And I noticed that she keeps looking at me in the rearview mirror. And I'm just like, um, and she keeps asking me like, hey, you OK? You good? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just sitting back here riding. It's a road trip. I'm not doing anything. I'm fine. I got my snacks. I got my drink. Like, I'm cool. No need to keep asking me. And sometimes I would see like, you know, I'll be on my phone or whatever. Then I'll kind of like look up. And if I look forward, I can see her like literally gazing at me in the rearview mirror. And it was kind of making me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I try not to be one of those type of people. You know, I'm just like, well, you know, maybe she is just literally checking on me, whatever. Now, Amy has been driving for about two, three hours. And so it's a gas station coming up. She's like, hey, I'm going to, you know, refill on gas. Make sure, you know, if you need to get something, we can take a bathroom break, whatever. Cool. All right, so we in the gas station. We, I'm getting more water. I'm getting my checks mixed. You know, things that I like to get. And we're on our way back to the car. Amy's pumping the gas. But this time, the girlfriend, Dora, is driving. And Amy, for whatever reason, she doesn't get in the passenger side. She gets in the back seat with me. And I'm just like, y'all, the look on my... Hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why are you getting in the back seat with me? That would have had me so damn uncomfortable. Oh my God. My face when Amy jumped into the back seat with me, when you have a whole passenger seat, mind y'all, Dora, her girlfriend is driving. Why aren't you up there beside your girlfriend? I even looked at Dora to see like, what was her reaction going to be? And she wasn't bothered by it at all. And I thought that was strange. Third red flag. Keep up now. Now, mind y'all, before Amy got back there, I had the backseat to myself. So I was all stretched out. I had my feet up, everything like that. So she got back there and I'm getting my stuff like kind of moving over because you obviously want to sit in the back seat. Now she's like, oh, no, you don't have to move. You can stretch your feet out on me. Uh, No, I can't. I'm not going to do that. Uh -uh. Again, y'all, the whole interaction. Um, Dora. Uh -uh. Stretch my feet out. You <laughs> but what? She has been in some situations. Y'all, I got some crazy story times, too. But I just feel like I, my story time won't be as long. Y'all know I have plenty of story times on YouTube, but like, God, I, the way when she says things, I have so many more. Her girlfriend is just sitting in the front seat. She's just driving and I'm just kind of like, what is going on? I, and I try, I'm the type of person where like, I don't have a poker face. My poker face, like I, if you, if something's going on, it's going to be written all over my face. I cannot hide it no matter how hard I try. I'm just not good at pretending. Another thing about me, like, just to make sure I'm not tripping, Hello. I'm going to text in the group chat, like, y'all, okay, so I'm on this road trip with this couple or whatever, and for whatever reason, the girlfriend gets in the back seat with me instead of sitting in the You have a whole front passenger seat to yourself. Why aren't you up there? My friends are like, oh, my God, yeah, that's weird. Or why would she do that? Or da, 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 da. Be careful. And look out for her. And I'm like, okay, now I know I'm not tripping. Right now in the comments chat, it, was I tripping? Like, if someone did that to y'all, would y'all kind of be like a little alarmed? Would you kind of raise a side eye? I, I would have told her to get in the front seat. Because I don't want beef with your girlfriend. That that would have been the top of the top of the list for me because I'm riding with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not about to be fighting your girlfriend on this trip. And I don't even want you, girl. I'm I'm literally trying to like get you the hell away from me. You know what I'm saying? And then I would have had to ask the stuff, like, you you straight with this? Like this? You cool with this type of stuff?
And unless we were like friends, friends, and I've known him for a long time, but like, or would you be like, oh, you know what? That's cool. Mind y'all, um, we've only met. I've only met them one time. We yeah, haven't no. really interacted or nothing like that since then. Maybe send a text like, oh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, stuff like that. But other than that, we are not that close at all. And I know what you're thinking, like, oh, why would you even be with them anyway? Why would you even go on a road trip? Then no, I don't worry about that right now. It's <laughs> my story. Let me tell it. You sit back and listen. Okay. Please. But anyway, y'all, for the rest of the ride, I was super uncomfortable when I was trying not to show this. Like, I kept catching her staring at me. Even Dora would kind of turn around and just kind of look back. And I'm just like, man, what's going on? Is everything, is y'all cool? Amy was expressing to me how she was tired, how she literally got off of work and came and got me and started immediately driving over. She's like, okay, so I'm going to lay down. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You about to go to sleep. Maybe I would feel more comfortable if you would kind of sleep back here. Like, instead of just staring at me, whatever. Y'all, Amy literally lays back in the seat, like, you know, kind of slashes her body. And lays her head on my shoulder. Lay your head <laughs> on my shoulder. Oh, lay it. it was like a moment like that. Like, I felt like I heard the background music. And I was just like, Is you cool? I'm literally back there stiff as a soldier, y'all. I could not move because I'm like, bro. And I'm still looking at Dora, like, say something, do something. It's as if we weren't even back there. It's as if she was in her own world. And I'm just like, bro, this is low key throwing me off because they, didn't, they never acted like. So, my problem is, why couldn't you wait? Like, you couldn't wait till we got to the hotel or something? Till we got to the Airbnb or something? You gotta have me right now? Somebody forewarned me or something? I think that that's fair. Like that when we first met. They were actually super cool people. That's why we decided, like, okay, you know what? Let's go out with them. Let's basically spend our whole weekend with them. That's how cool they were. I kind of pretended to be uncomfortable. I kind of like moved my shoulder around just so she could kind of like get up. And I'm just like, you know, pushing her head towards the other side of the car. Like, lay your head on that window. If there's all this room back here, how you end up right here on my shoulder? I'm I'm not cool with that. So boom, she kind of laughs at all. She's like, I'm just playing with you or whatever. If you was playing, you would be in the front seat, not the back seat, babe. Who am I? I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. I'm just saying. You know? But anyway, we finally get to the destination. So, okay, we get out the car and everything. And I'm just kind of like, okay, what time is your friend coming? Because at this point, I need some. I understand y'all here, y'all together, but I'm not really feeling super duper comfortable with y'all. Where's the other girl at? Dora's like, oh, you know what? Let me call her. Let me see if she landed or whatever like that. Dora calls her and was like, oh, you know what? Her phone is off. And just like, oh, I'll just hit her up later. Like, this y'all friend is supposed to be on a trip with y'all. Y'all not concerned? Y'all not worried? It's just like, oh, she didn't answer the phone? Whatever. Like, me, let me not answer the phone for one of my friends. The text message is going to boom. They're going to call me back to back. What's going on? Where you at? When you pulling up? What time? Da -da 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 -da. Like, she's just like, oh, she didn't answer. Huh? Later. Like, what? But anyway, we at the hotel. You know what I'm saying? We checking in and everything. I'm just like, okay, let's get up to the room or whatever. Just so I can have, like, my privacy or whatever. The lady's taking us up to the room. And it's one bed. It's it's a suite. Where, where am I supposed to sleep? At oh, work? hell no. Uh, hold on now they're like oh yeah we just got one big suite or whatever because you know money wise it's, it was cheaper like the couches rolled out and stuff like that or you could just sleep in the bed with us uh, wait what come again say what now mind y'all i asked them how much is the ticket like how much do i need to put on a room how much for gas they told me i didn't need to worry about anything uh, they uh. would just be happy if i would just tag along it's just like bro there's one bed one bathroom one tiny rollout couch one bathroom is just not enough for me with, with too many people. Three Wait. is truly a crowd for me. Three is truly a crowd. Do better than that. Come on now. Excluding my kids. And with the kids too. We we to the point where, well, we've been at that point. Like we get an Airbnb, it gotta be three rooms. Okay? Cause two one other person is a crowd for them too. <laughs> so like we get a hotel. They got to get their own hotel room. You know what I'm saying? They'll be right beside us uh, or, or near us. They're going to be on that floor. Okay. Um, but uh -uh, three is a crowd, baby. Three is a crowd. So I, I'm at Mealy just like, you know what? I'm going to go down there and I'll just get my own room. You know, I have my own money. You know what I'm saying? I was working hard. You know, it's nothing to just get my own room. Y'all go down there to the front desk. All rooms are booked sold for the out. night. I knew we it. literally got the last room. Everything. They are so completely sold out. You gotta be kidding me, right? Like, is like you so so I can't so I'm gonna have to so so what? You, like what? Okay, fine. I'm still trying to make the best. I even have to call my friend. Like, bro, I'm starting to tweak out because it's just like, why is this happening? Why would they get one? It's four people, one room. Who does that? At least get double beds. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't have none. It was just one bed. That was it. Blue. 
okay, whatever. We got a beach view. I see the sand. I see the water. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to change clothes. Let me get by the water. Let me kind of relax. Let me kind of take all of this in because I could kind of feel myself getting so irritated. They were completely fine with it. They were like, oh, well, I can take the couch or you can do like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, bro, it don't have to be like this. We are adults. We have our own money. Okay. We could have at least gotten the double beds. At least. Okay, boom. So I'm telling them, like, you know what? I'm just about to go down to the beach. Y'all can go ahead and get settled. Like, quickly change my clothes. Just go outside the room. Because, like I said, I'm just trying to calm down. I'm out there. I'm by the water. I'm putting, you know, putting my feet in the sand, rubbing it in the water, whatever like that. Next thing you know, y'all, I feel some hands, like, come, like, grab me from the back, come around my waist. So I jump because, like, where? Who is this? I turn around on this door. She's like, oh, my now God. Now we I'm on a full SA trip. So glad you were able to tag along. We really miss you. I'm just like, whoa, 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 what? Hold up, wait a minute, flag on the play. Wait, I'm like, your oh, so was Dora's just the stud. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come behind me touching me. Back seat, trying to rest her head on me, and now you come up hugging me from behind. What's going on, bro? She's like, oh, Star, just calm down. It's not like that. We're just very loved. We like to show our love. We like to show our gratitude. We're just very affectionate people. I, I understand all that. Who Brat, your attitude over there, girl. Oh, no, no, hey. Don't touch me, <laughs> okay? And grabbing me from the bin that? Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get, get, get off of me, okay? Fly, but y'all need to kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm uncomfortable. Now, I appreciate y'all trying to include me on a little road trip and stuff like that, but at the same time, y'all got to understand, I got boundaries. This is kind of too much for me. She literally laughs and is like, you know what? That's what they all say in the beginning. But then they come to know exactly why we act the way that, that we act. And then even they start acting like us too. Huh? Oh, baby, I could never act like y'all, though. And don't get me wrong. I can show a little love respectfully. Hello? I can be affectionate respectfully. But boy, all of that stuff is kind of out of line. Y'all out of pocket, though. I'm guessing Amy seeing like me and um, her girlfriend Dora talk. So Amy calls her girlfriend Dora over there and they're over there. I'm just like, bro, you know what? Maybe I just shouldn't have come because I have been uncomfortable from the time I got into the car. And I'm thinking that, you know what? Maybe that was just me tripping. Like, nah, I'm not tripping. This is a very strange couple. Amy then calls me over there like, you know what? We do apologize. Sometimes we can be a little bit overbearing. But you know what? Let's just take some shots. So I'm like, you know what? I definitely don't want to drink no alcohol with you hoes. And I'm absolutely drinking my own bottle at this point. Cause I, that, that's not how they act when they, when they first be a bitch. What y'all trying to drug me? Huh? Y'all think y'all about to grape me? Do you think y'all about to grape me? <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hell no. Right, so let's just everybody calm down i feel like i'm on edge i'm kind of looking at y'all i don't want to be like this on vacation i got a three-day vacation i want to enjoy myself before i go back to work Cute. so i started taking shots we all taking shots i start to loosen up a little bit you know and i'm studying asking like y'all where is the other girl at like can y'all call her again you know it's been hours her flight still ain't landed are y'all sure she's okay don't nobody want to check on her they're like, oh, no, nah, she's good. She kind of always does this kind of thing. Like, we're not worried. She's just going to pop up and, you know, you'll get to meet her. You'll love her, da, da, da. It's like they didn't care. So I'm just like, all right, if y'all not tripping, why should I? Let me just try to keep enjoying myself, you know? We spend hours out there on the beach just relaxing or whatever. Now it's time to go back up to the room because we get hungry. It's time to go out to eat and kind of get into whatever we're doing for the night. <laughs> we get dressed. We drive to the restaurant. We, we just get there. We order our food. Everything's fine. We get drinks. We kind of like talking, like kind of small talk because they can they can still kind of tell that I'm little, still feeling a little bit uncomfortable. We get our food, whatever. I just, I jump right in. I'm eating. I mean, I'm just throwing down because I'm actually very hungry. Plus, I've been drinking. So y'all know how that go. Y'all, I'm mm -hmm. literally sitting there eating, trying to enjoy my food. I kid you not. I look up on the other side of the booth. There's they're just staring at me. Amy and Dora are just kind of looking at me, like smiling as if they're just like intrigued. And I'm just like, why y'all not eating y'all food? Furthermore, why y'all staring at me eating my food? That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like being stared at while I'm eating. Definitely not while I'm eating, though. Now, I stare at people when they smoking a blunt. You would think I rolled it or something. I'd be like, hit it. Hit it. Now, also... If I cook the food, I got to see you take a bite. Got to take a bite. I'm talking about immediately. Give you your plate. You you ain't even said your prayer yet. I'm like, I right, taste. You ain't tasted it yet? <laughs> uh, you should. <laughs> what are you waiting on? <laughs> what are we? What are we waiting on? <laughs> Go ahead. Dive in.
Although I did have one lady to pay me a lot, a big amount of money just to FaceTime me and watch me eat. Well, if y'all want that story time, we can like stick that in somewhere later. But it's not about that. Back to Amy and Dora. I'm like, bro, y'all being so weird. Is it the drinks? Is y'all cool? They're like, oh no, you, we just- The woman was paying you to watch you eat. I think you're so cute. You look so vulnerable. You look so vulnerable when you eat that. I'm like, I've never heard vulnerable of no stuff when like you that. Eat, That's though? crazy. Can y'all eat y'all food though? Cause y'all making me feel like y'all about to make me lose my appetite. They kind of laugh it off and start eating. Um, Dora's eating her food. She's like, oh my God, this pasta, it tastes so good. Like, I really love it. And I'm like, oh, what kind of pasta you getting? As I'm talking, y'all, she picks the some pasta up on a fork and tries to put it in my mouth. Mm -mm. Hold on! I kind of joke back like, bro, is you not even asking me? Like, and I don't know if, like, okay, if y'all be doing this for other people, and okay, cool, but fork. I'm different. I mean, you have fork. to ask for permission. I need some type of consent going on because y'all been a little bit too, just, y'all been going too far lately. I don't like to go that far. She's like, oh, silly, I'm just joking with you. All right, but y'all playing too much now. Be okay. cool. So y'all go away to the bathroom and I call my friends one more time. I'm like, bro. This is real. I really, I don't think I can be here for three days with them. Like, I really cannot do that. The other friend isn't there. So my friend's like, oh, you know, what's their name? Like, their names are Amy and Dory. They're married, whatever like that. She's like, hold on, I'm going to look them up. Now, I got the type of friend, she, she needs to work for the FBI. All mm -hmm. she needs is a name, maybe a picture, maybe a few key words, and she's going to find out anything that there is needed to know. I'm talking about the lurking skills, grade A chef kiss. <laughs> so I'm on the phone like, yeah, like, see what you can find, because I'm, they, it's almost as if they're two totally different people. They never acted like this when we first met them. So I hear on the phone, she's like, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God, what? Okay. She's like, Star Young, they are known for being swingers. Like, they're well-known swingers. Like, they do this type of thing. They like taking people out. Out, you know whining and dining them and in return you swing with them you know i'm like bro they never mentioned that actually at one point i remember dora being like she's she's not the type to want to share if you're into sharing then you can never talk to her because she's very selfish she's very jealous she doesn't like to share hoopla hoopla etc etc yeah i'm really just not into that the thought if i see my woman kiss somebody else Liable to take everybody up out of there on that side of the, the wherever they did it. At. Everybody. I just. I'm not into that. I'm not into it. Try. I'm like, how could they leave that type of detail out? And anyway, I'm like, so the other friend, let's just call her Danielle. I'm like, they say that they have a friend named Danielle that's supposed to be coming. Could you go through their friends list or whatever and see maybe if she's like, even if that's a lie. So she's going through the friends list, going through the following. She's like, you know, I do see this one girl named Danielle and she's from the same city as state as them. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me see a picture. I'm like, better yet, let me just DM her or whatever because we got her Instagram. I'm like, let me just DM her and ask her like, hey, when are you coming? When are you pulling up? Like, you know, it's kind of awkward. It's too on one you know i would just like some type of friend you know in a situation my friends tell me like look if you still feel uncomfortable you just need to book a flight back like don't worry i can get you from the airport she's like we'll drive down there and get you you just kind of let me know and one thing about my friends they always don't go they never played about me so boom y'all i get off the phone with my friend i'm walking back out there and i'm still kind of feeling on edge i sit down you know and it's obvious that they're talking about me because as soon as i sit down like all the conversation stops and they look up like oh like, what do y'all can't even pretend? Like, bro, oh what's going God. on? They're like, no, we're just expressing the fact that we are so glad that you're here. Like, if there's anything that you want us to do for you, like, let us know. We're here at your service. You we want to make shit. sure that we serve you. We want to make sure that the hospitality is this, this, and that. And I'm just like, bro, you guys are creeping me out. Like, if, if this was said in the beginning and you gave me a choice, clearly, I will be able to make my decision. But to just, you know, bring me there and just start essaying me because <laughs> that's really what it was laying your head on me in the back seat getting it getting in the back seat in general and just kind of like you know invading my space when when all this space is in this car that's such a turn off bro and you don't know what what she been through in life you know what i'm saying that's crazy you never know what she been through in life so like man now, why y'all not acting like how y'all was acting when we first met? They pretending like they know what I was talking about. So then they go into the whole spill about how they're very affectionate. Their love is they want to spread love. And then I get uh, my phone vibrates and I get a message from Danielle. 
So they still talking. I'm kind of drowning them out. So I slide my phone. I unlock my phone. I get a message. Then he was like, hey, LOL, I'm not coming. I never was coming. I'm guessing you're the new girl. Ooh. She then proceeds to say that she was the third in their relationship at one point, but she started getting treated unfairly. They started making promises that they couldn't keep, this, this, and that. She was like, she would never talk to them again. They're very bad people. She goes on it. I mean, she was just dragging them for filth, to be completely honest. She was like, if you're the new girl, like, no hate, basically no shade, but just, like, watch your back, whatever. Seem like you got a lot going for yourself. She's like, I went through your profile. You're very attractive, this, this, and that. You could be doing way better. Just kind of be careful. That shit oh. sound like run to me. Run. So they lied and said that Danielle was going to be coming, that you were just their friend. You're coming on a trip. You guys were supposed to be coming down here. The whole time they plotted on me, whole time to set up a... Am I the joke? Is the joke on me? Yes. Y'all, I'm sitting there and right in our message thread, Danielle starts sending these screenshots and text messages of everything. She's like, yeah, I, at first it was like fun and all cute and everything like that. But then it just got real possessive. They got real obsessive over me, things like that. We would always fight and argue. She was like, honestly, it's not mm -hmm. worth it. I could do bad all by myself. If, if she was like, if you're, if you actually need them, I guess like money wise, then okay, I get it. But if not, she's like, run and run fast and don't look back. That's mm -hmm. when Tweedledee and Tweedledum finally realized I wasn't paying attention to nothing that they were saying because I was in my phone. I obviously paying more attention to them yeah so they're like hey is everything okay uh no and i'm glad you asked what the hell is going on here okay so i'm explaining to them like okay first of all y'all lie about your friend danielle she's actually not your friend she was a third in your relationship i'm basically telling them i'm confronting them about everything that danielle just messaged me about they kind of look at each other and bust out laughing i'm like what's funny they're like oh danielle always does that that's why we don't have her come along with us we've never dated her we've never not knowing that danielle has already sent me proof they're just yapping about how oh she's crazy they tried to get her help don't believe nothing she says she's just Try jealous she misses help. being around them she misses being her friend that a lot that a lot when i finally got tired of hearing i just turned the phone around and i was like and it okay. always be the women with money too always okay well what's this this looks like you guys in danielle relationship type of pictures very intimate type of pictures she has text messages from you guys numbers and all that she has all the proof come again say what for the first time on the whole trip i heard nothing mm. there was no back talk there was no response there was not a mumbling word from Amy or Dora. Somebody say something. Okay. The receipts is right here. The proof is right here. Hello? Hello. I can't even say everything that I said to them because, you know, I really want my YouTube. I don't want to get any strikes. I don't want to get banned. I don't want to, you know, get any violations. But y'all, I laid into them. I told them, mm, I gave it to them good. Don't worry. Y'all be so proud of me. Y'all be so proud of me. Now it's the, oh, we're sorry, and oh, let us tell you what happened. It wasn't exactly like that. No, nah, because from jump, y'all never mentioned this. This whole swinging stuff. And by all means, if that's what y'all into, then cool. You know, I'm not here to judge. If it makes you sleep better at night, so be it. I'm with it. You feel me? If you like it, I love it. <laughs> but the way y'all went about it, that's very shysty. And had y'all, like, what, okay, like, what was y'all grand plan? What was y'all going to probably try to get me drunk or something? Uh -huh. Like, what, how was y'all just going to force and me into a three-way relationship with y'all? I, I just want to know. No, it wasn't like that. We just really enjoy your company. We didn't we didn't think that what we do in our personal lives would affect you. But it's like y'all wanted me to be a part of it. Y'all lied. Y'all did bad things to this girl. Y'all got her not even wanting to be around y'all. She's like thinking about moving out the state just because of y'all. Damn. We're so sorry. Is there anything that we can do to compensate you? We'll pay for your flight back. We'll do this. We'll do that. Pay for that flight back, though. That, that Actually, that's a very good idea. I want to leave tonight. Ooh. We're so sorry. We just wish that there was a way we could put this all behind us and start over. I wouldn't start over if the over started starting over, over, start. <laughs> and I know it don't make sense. I'm just upset. Y'all, I got up from that table, walked outside, called my friend, stayed on the phone with my friend up until I got to the airport. We was just talking like, oh, my God. We cannot believe that. Dora and Amy study calling me, study texting me. Oh, please come back. Can we please talk about this? We hope you don't go to the authorities. Go to the authorities for what? Is it, is it even worse than what y'all show me? Is Got it worse than that? Again, I can't dictate what y'all do in y'all personal lives. Do whatever it is that makes you happy. That yeah. shit sound like grape. But I don't like the way y'all went about that. I feel like y'all set me up. I feel like y'all prayed on me. I really felt like y'all tried to put me into a spot that I probably, y'all probably thought I wouldn't be able to get out of. Had I not reached out to Danielle, I would have known nothing that was going on. I was still believing y'all. Y'all was saying, oh, yeah, she's coming. Oh, yeah, she'll be here. Oh, don't worry. She always does this. The girl would never, ever want to be around y'all again in y'all life. I got back home, completely blocked them on everything. I reached out to Danielle again. I told her, thank you so much. Actually, me and Danielle became kind of like pen pals after that. We was texting. She came to Atlanta. We kind of went out to eat and everything like that. We didn't date. Hold on, because I know how y'all like that. <laughs> 
It wasn't like that. She was a real cool girl. A couple of months after that, I kind of heard about how Dory and Amy weren't even together anymore. I don't know really what happened with that. I kind of could care less. But it's just like, you know what? Everything happened for a reason, y'all. That situation could have turned out so, so Crazy. much worse than what it did. But I'm really thankful of me reaching out to Danielle. I'm thankful for my friends that had my back. And they was like, look, we'll come, we'll come to you. Like, what's up? I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I have many, this many more. I'm a time. person that has lived a billion, kajillion lives. So lucky for y'all, I'm going to keep them coming back to back. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for engaging. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm so thankful for my team. Team Twinkles, we the best squad on YouTube. We the most lit squad on YouTube. We go the hardest on YouTube. What y'all want to hear about next? Drop it down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. Make sure you tweet me. I want to hear about that girl Um, paying her to watch her eat. I want to hear that. Hear y'all thoughts about the story. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. So after hearing the story time, what would you have done? What would you have done differently? Who's fault? Who do y'all blame? Do y'all blame Amy and Dora? Do y'all blame me? And watch out who you blame because don't forget who YouTube channel this is. So not too much. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about it, y'all. Let's chat. Her. I will meet y'all in the comments. Y'all know I love replying back to y'all. So let's do it. Make sure y'all turn y'all post notifications on. And until next time, see you again for the next story time. I blame her for everything, okay? She always was in some shit that she could not get out of. <laughs> or she had to get a flight. Or she had to get her friends had to come get a thump. So, yo fault, per usual. All right, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Thank you, uh, Star, for your shout out. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and keep going. It's a vibe. It's a vibe over here with the twinkles. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah.